We've got some practice questions here for the infection and response module. We've got our two first questions here. Let's underline the keywords so we can put into practice some of the exam technique that we've learned for this module. So we've got a one mark question and a two mark question here. White blood cells protect the body against pathogens such as bacteria and viruses. Pathogens make us feel ill. Give one reason why pathogens make us feel ill. And then part two, white blood cells produce antibodies. This is one way white blood cells protect us against pathogens. Give two other ways that white blood cells protect us against pathogens. Okay. Let's move on to the answers. So the one reason why pathogens make us feel ill, so pathogens produce toxins and cause damage to cells. That would give us one mark there. And then for part two, Two other ways that white blood cells protect us against pathogens. So one, they produce antitoxins, as well as those antibodies that were mentioned in the question. And they also engulf pathogens in phagocytosis. So two marks there, one for each part of the question. Okay, part B, vaccination can protect us from the diseases pathogens cause. One type of virus causes measles virus causing measles. A doctor vaccinates a child against measles. What does the doctor inject into the child to make the child immune to measles? Two marks here. So the answers are a weakened form of the measles pathogen. You got one mark for a weakened form and the other for saying that it was the measles pathogen or virus. Finally, we have a graph question here. So, a few weeks after the vaccination, the child becomes infected with measles viruses from another person. The graph shows the number of measles antibodies in the child's blood from before the vaccination until after the infection. So we have a look at the graph there, We've got the number of measles antibodies on the y-axis there and time across the x-axis. More measles antibodies are produced after the infection than after the vaccination. Describe, that's our key word there, other differences in antibody production after infection compared with after vaccination. Okay, so that was three marks there. And you got three marks for saying after the infection, that's the first mark, the rise in antibodies begins sooner and happens faster and also lasts longer. So you just had to describe what happens in the graph in this section after infection compared to after vaccination. Okay, go and find some other past paper questions on this topic and put your knowledge into practice. Good luck.